Hello, good afternoon. Today I'm going to be making one of my favourites, um, a coronation chicken. Um, low in sins, much lower in the shops, much tastier than the shops, and probably much cheaper than the shops. And you can make a big, large amount of it and probably have a bit with, because it does go nice with jacket potatoes, with a salad. A nice accompaniment to a lot of meals. Good word, a compliment. Right, so first of all what you'll need is some chicken. Um, I've got two breasts and just fried it off in a frying pan till it just starts going to a nice colour and it's white all the way through. So two of them into your bowl, like that. Then to that, I'm going to add a tub of quark. If you haven't used quark before, it's like a soft, smooth cheese that really hasn't got much smell, much flavour, but it does take on the flavour and whatever you add to it. So it's really good for desserts and lots of good sauces made with that. So don't be scared of it, and it is sin free. Chuck that in. I'm making quite a lot here, um, but you make as much as you need. It's one of those things we'll keep in the fridge for a few days. Right, then to that, this was a, this was a horrible job. Um, great in a mango, um, slimy, but it's done. Add that to it. Then some apricots. And it said fresh apricots, but I couldn't find any of them. I don't know, it's not the season for them. So I buy some soft dried ones and chopped them up so it's quite fine. Chuck them in. Then a spring onion. That's got some speed in it. So spring onion chopped up quite fine. Chuck that in. Then, just because I like to, um, some dried fruit. Will be sins. But again, adds to the flavour, and in that quantity, not that high in sin. It says a pinch of garlic, I'm not much of a pincher, and I'm going to add a bit more, because I like garlic. There you go, keep the vampires away. Then I'm going to add a little tiny pinch of dry mustard powder, sin free. And then the thing that's going to give it its slight curry flavour is curry powder. So it said one teaspoon, but again, I'm gonna make twice as much. I only put two in. So teaspoons are not good enough, apparently. You have to use these. Put two of them in. Now, just mix it all up. Um, of course, if you wanted to make it even easier than that, you could buy the chicken that was, the plain chicken that's already in the packet. Um, so that'll cut out the cooking part entirely. And give it a good old mix around. At this point, good old generous grind of pepper. Bit of seasoning. Again, put twice as much in because I'm making it for more, more portions. That'll be enough. And then same with salt. Not too much salt because we're looking after our blood pressure. that do because I've run out of salt anyway and then give it a good old stir around and I say lovely on a jacket potato lovely as a part of, your, of a sandwich maybe um, yeah really nice and you'll, you'll see the difference as soon as you taste it that um, it just tastes fresher than the ones that you'd buy shop made and it does make a large amount So I'm estimating, probably for an average portion, about two sins. Um, but again, you work out your sins by how much apricot you put in and the raisins and the grated mango. So there you go. Coronation chicken, done. Good luck. Enjoy.